um, is also from Oxymoron, asking must, regarding Muslim personal law in India. Do you think yet another cessation despite partition was possible without the involvement of lower caste Muslims that the government had to succumb to the demands of Muslims? Doesn't this become a plot hole in the proposed caste theory of partition? Why is that majority of Muslims still vote for Muslims, especially Ashraf Muslims, if there was a class consciousness in lower caste Muslims? Okay, so, before you read that question like this, like because people are going to be like, what the hell is this question about? So I think we should like give a sm summary before we read the question, not after, but next time. Okay. Um, well, the context of this is that previously I've talked about how I've read some um, very interesting uh, articles about the role of casteism in partition, um, uh, particularly criticisms of uh, the move of Jinnah and um, other organizations, Muslim organizations that were against partition and why and how they were more concerned about an uh, identity of the oppressed on the basis of their caste than um, identifying with their religion because they felt that they had more in common with um, the people from a similar lower caste status as opposed to their religion. I believe, correct me, um, Indians in the chat if I'm wrong, but the um, name for this is uh, Bahujan, um, and refer to a uh, more superordinate of oppressed caste identity. So, so there's a saying like Bahujan first, Muslim second. Um, mm. So let me actually simplify it a little bit. Tell me if you, uh, so a lot of people, when they look at the partition of India and Pakistan, they look at this as a Muslim Hindu divide. But what you are suggesting was an, a different kind of divide that a lot of people are unaware of was upper, upper caste Muslim and upper caste Hindu together divided from lower caste Hindu and lower caste Muslim. So the divide between upper caste and lower caste, which, um, a lot of people think is was even more important uh, because the lower caste Muslims and lower caste Hindus have a lot more in common with each other um, than than you know lower caste Muslims and upper caste Muslims um, or lower caste Hindus and upper caste Muslims. Their, their experience was a lot more similar. So this like this divide of Hindu and Muslims ignores that ignores that. Okay and this is very important within the context of the partition as well because both the upper caste Hindus and upper caste Muslims were in favor um, of the partition given that it would put them in a position of authority like the people who were more educated and more in line more had access to power they would also make sure that during the partition their voices would heard more um, compared to these lower caste who weren't hadn't ha didn't have the access to make their voices heard and show their opposition to to the partition and the reason why the upper caste from both sides wasn't happy with the partition is because it will make them as the people who are a, a higher class they would be in charge of muslims and the hindu upper caste muslims they would be in charge of hindus so they would uh, it would provide them with the authority that they want right so it was very much in in their favor however the lower caste people they were in, against this um, partition because they saw what was about to happen. They saw they were, they would have benefited from a more united like Indian subcontinent because a more secular one, where it's treating them, like they would see themselves, like the lower caste Muslims, they would see themselves as more oppressed under um, a, a fully Islam, Islamic Pakistan or Hindu uh, lower caste would see themselves more oppressed under a fully Hindu India. And also they would be worried about not being able to migrate. Like a lot of lower caste um, Hindus and um, Muslims were, were left behind and had to pay the price for it. So this whole form of, that's why they were maybe, um, they, were ign they were ignored, right? Like they're completely ignored and, and, and their voices were not heard. And uh, so this is what uh, oxymoron is. Uh, this theory is what oxymoron is um challenging and what is his challenge exactly um 
basically about inconsistencies with this narrative and if this is the case why i just um like why do they still vote along religious lines today um mm -hmm. if this is supposedly about a uh, caste consciousness um and rudresh is giving me the other word i was looking for with which is pashmanda thank you i was trying to remember that um so well let me just say something when I talk about this, this aspect of it, and when I just talk about India, I'm not claiming to be a expert at all. When I talk about this, I'm not even necessarily saying, or if I have said this in the past, I was incorrect. And what I'm saying now is that I'm not saying that this is the reason why partition happened. I'm not saying that this is one of the main reasons why it happened the way it did, um, or that this is essentially the a reflection of the attitudes today um when i talk about these things it's more like this is an interesting perspective i heard i hadn't considered this before and i want to share it with my audience like this thing that i learned because it's it's just interesting to consider so i'm not i'm not um necessarily making a claim um i'm just sharing some more information that i garnered um because if there is one thing that i know about india is that you know there's a saying I don't know if you guys have heard it before, but it's it, this it's a joke saying. It's like, oh, if you get two Jews in a room together, you'll have three opinions. Well, if <laughs> the one thing I know about India is that if you're and that's a good thing, by the way. That's a good that's yeah, a compliment. If good. if there's one thing I know about India, and with like one issue, there's like twenty three different aspects that you need to look at it by. You know, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't be so simplistic as to say that this is the reason or this is what the main thing that we need to be considering or looking the lens we need to be looking at partition through. I just think it's one aspect of it to consider. There's probably, again, 22 other ways that is at minimum <laughs> that you need to look at any other given issue happening in the country because there are so many um, different like civilizational identities like subcontinent the, the differences of language of caste of background of i mean it's just so immense the different um sections of all these so yeah okay so um i i want to push back against this pushback though because again i don't know if this is true but it's also possible that the the Muslim versus Hindu, I mean, it's not, it's, it's more than possible. It's, I think I'm very certain about this, okay? Um, the Muslim Hindu divide has become a lot more <laughs> defined ever since the partition, right? So, what we have today um, is not the same as what the things were during, at that time. So, you're talking about even today, Muslims are. Uh, vote for Muslims, okay? Well, I mean, why are you also talk? Why are you not talking also about the fact that Hindus also just like it's so it's so telling that you're just highlighting the fact that Muslims vote for Muslims and not highlighting that Hindus never vote for Muslims. Like, well, I mean, not never, but like you're only highlighting one side of this, right? So it's also true from the other side, right? Um, they would never, right? I mean, well, not never again. I don't want to be an absolutist, but I'm Why just saying, like, the, these absolutist I, I just said every time I notice when I'm doing it, like, how come you're not noticing okay, fair, that fair, I notice that I'm doing that every time I do it? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really good at catching it when I do. So praise that part instead of like, yeah. Um, no, but you what I'm right. saying is, that, yeah, what I'm saying is that you're judging our, our, take on what was the situation at the time of the partition you're you're judging it based on what the attitudes are today even though the the level of hostile the hindu muslim hostility in the indian subcontinent both in india and in pakistan has changed the battle lines significantly again i'm not suggesting like i'm not you know like, oh armin this is not a new thing hindus and muslims have been challenging each other uh, for a long time. I know. I'm just comparing it relative to the time of the partition. I'm not saying, like, if you look at the history of Islam in the Indian subcontinent, 
it was a lot worse at some certain time. We have like the Hindu Kush mountains, they named the Hindu Kush mountains for a reason, okay? I'm not saying we're living at the worst of times when it comes to the, the, the struggle between Hindus and Muslims, but I'm just saying you cannot tell me that you're judging what the attitudes were at the time of the partition or even immediately after, like it's not, we're talking about when the decisions about the part partitions were being, be, being made, but even immediately after the partition, the Hindu versus Muslim divide became a lot greater. Like there was a lot of killings. Like how many people died because like through the attack, the Mus Hindu and Muslim attacks, attitudes significantly changed because of the, in the impact that this had on people's perceptions and their lives, right? So yeah, we're talking right before. Like we're talking about the attitudes of people right before. So it, it's not fair for you to judge, judge it based on what things are like today. Does that make sense? What I said, like, is, that, is that clear what I was trying to say? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think maybe you can disagree a little bit, but, <laughs> uh, oxymoron saying it's not a good thing to have tolerance towards multiple bad opinions. That's why Hinduism sucks. <laughs> Hey, yes. actually, wait, isn't it uh, the ox oxymoron that is, are you joking or are you serious? Because I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, is that like a sarcastic? Um, yeah. When I was, I think this is in reaction to, um, uh, into me saying when you're looking at issues, there are so many different angles that you need to look at it. I'm not saying that these are opinions and that we tolerate good or bad opinions. I'm saying that many different aspects of social life and histor in, in historical context that affect what's the what we see today you know that you need to consider it's it's never super clear not that we okay. tolerate yeah never mind look how good i am at predicting people's misunderstanding of what i'm saying and responding to it before it happens okay because I don't know why Aximoran posted this after I already said it. Okay, so you like, I actually maybe you're not saying that. Okay, Ox, the Oxymor that Oxymoron posted Hindu Muslim co uh, a conflict always existed. In fact, some continent is now far better than ever. I am just against too drastic whitewashing. I specifically I predicted people not understanding what I'm saying, and I already responded to this before the criticism came after me. I specifically said I know that the history of the Hindu Muslim conflict throughout history has been a lot worse. Like the Hindu Kush mountains are named Hindu Kush. Hindu Kush, Kush means killing, okay? Hindu Kush mean, are named, after, like they killed so many Hindus, Muslims killed so many Hindus that they named the mountains after they called it the place where you kill Hindus. That's how bad the situation, like the number one victims of Islam um, after Muslims themselves are Hindus. Like they're not Westerners, they're not Christians, they're not atheists. Hindus throughout history paid a lot heavier price in blood for Muslim Islamic aggression than any other group of people in the world. I know that. Obviously, what we're experiencing today is nothing close to that. I wasn't suggesting that. Okay. I wasn't suggesting that. I wasn't, I also didn't suggest that before the partition, there was no Muslim. Hindu conflict. Obviously, there was, okay? But you cannot tell me that the past couple of years, the experience people they ha had with the partition and the mass killings that came after it and the politics that we have had ever since and also now with the rise of the BJP and Hindutva, you cannot tell me that that in, in recent history that has not uh, poured gasoline on the fire when, of Hindu-Muslim conflict. You cannot tell me that that hasn't had an effect that things haven't gotten worse. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. Thank you.